G'day guys, welcome back to Fading Margins. I'm waiting for my old lady, so uh, I'll do a quick catch up. Um, thought you might like a, a knife update. Um, my bag seems to, through the generosity of various people, to uh, have filled up somewhat with knives. I brought uh, a couple of folders for gifts and a, and a fixed blade, but I don't think that's going anywhere because uh, the person I had in mind, I'll probably uh, struggle to meet up with him, but never mind. Um, but yeah, uh, as you all know, I was gifted a Buck 110, um, uh, 120 year anniversary edition uh, uh, by Kirby Creek Outfits, and I was, I'm was i still extremely grateful for that. I've been enjoying that. And uh, I rolled with that the whole time I was in Minneapolis. Couldn't bring myself to wear it on my belt in Minneapolis for some reason, I don't know. Couldn't get used to the idea. So I used to carry it in my pocket, and uh, I found it worked um, really well in the pocket, for despite the size and the weight. You expect it to be a pain in the backside, it's not. Just rides beautifully, just sits there, uh, and you get used to it real quick. Um, so I was, I've been using that on a daily basis. We went from there uh, through the South Dakota, as you know, um, into Wyoming, across, across the corner of Wyoming, up into uh, Montana, Montana, into Idaho. Uh, from there back to uh, Yellowstone, which is Montana, Idaho, uh, Montana, Wyoming and then down into Utah. We've uh, done the length of Utah. Um, well, the short length on the west side of the of the lake. Uh, and uh, when I got to um, Arizona, when I got to Moab, uh, I swapped. Uh, and uh, I'm now running the uh, Buck 110 drop point in 420. Um, some people have already told me that that's a mistake. Um, why would I do that? I know that my good mate Vinny did a review on this knife uh, and uh, he much preferred the, uh, the clip point and I can see why. Um, I don't feel I have quite the same level of feeling so far. So uh, we're in Arizona now, so we did, uh, we got to Moab and Utah, crossed down uh, and we've come to Williams. Uh, we've been to the Grand Canyon, going out to New Mexico. When I get to Colorado, I'm gonna swap out again. I've had one day, um, because some of these more enlightened states allow you to uh, even carry a fixed blade. I carried a, a Buck 113, uh, which I picked up at the Buck factory. And that's a beautiful knife. I made a salad with that the other day. I mean, okay, it's not dressing out an elk, I know. Um, but uh, I'm just a regular guy on a road trip, right? Uh, and it's superb. It really is a superb tool. Um, very small, very short blade. I'll show it to you. Um, and I picked that one up uh, at a very good price. It was a, a buck custom that had been hadn't been collected for for some reason uh, in blue blue wood handle. Didn't think I'd go for a blue wood handle, but it was very nice at the time. So uh, I, I rocked that for a day. And that, um, uh, as an Australian who lives in the UK, or as a as a Brit who grew up in Australia and now lives in the UK. Uh, I found. Ah, go, on. go on, get. It. Excuse me. Oh. Cat trying to get in the car. Right, where was I? Yeah. So I was. Uh, so uh, for a day uh, here in Arizona, I, I rocked the Buck One One Thirteen, and uh, I have to say, I found the entire experience deeply stressful <laughs> because I'm so conditioned to carry a sub three inch slip joint folder. You know, I could. I could sort of, um, uh, you know, I can get my head around carrying a, a larger folder on my belt. You know, I think that's reasonable. I think the British laws, are, uh, well, the European laws generally are kind of stupid about knives. Um, but <laughs> carrying a fixed blade on your belt, it was like you walk in the supermarket, you're waiting to get arrested. Nothing happens, nobody looks at you but, uh, for reasons I can't explain. Uh, we ended up in Target, not a place I'd recommend. Uh, uh, and I think one person, one young kid, uh, university student, kind of looked at me sideways, but that was it. So um, I might try it again. Um, I think uh, New Mexico and even Colorado, it's uh, perfectly legit to do that. I wouldn't want to, you know, very tempted to carry something larger, but I won't. Just can't do it. Um, totally institutionalized, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it's uh, it has, you know, I'm kind of getting used to it, but it does have, uh, when you're used to much more draconian uh, and irrational laws, uh, it does have a certain free song about it. 
Anyway, we've hit five minutes. Um, I'll have to do a bit of editing because, uh, as I say, Catch was trying to get in the car and I had to chase him off. Um, I'll catch you guys uh, later on. You all take care now. Bye.